Hey guys, welcome to my next vlog. Um, I thought I would intro this with a little bit of organization. So this is, I'm in my bedroom. This is like my makeup drawer and then next to it over here, I have a skincare drawer and it's fucked. Like it's fucked. Um, I'm not really sure that I like having makeup and skincare in these drawers, but uh, I'm kind of like shit out of luck with um, storage space. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of making do with what I've got. Um, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm wearing makeup like twice a week if I'm lucky at this point. And I'm not going to lie, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm kind of like, I like makeup, but I also don't really give a fuck about makeup at this point. But what I do want to do is organize this a bit better to see if I have different feelings about it. So I have some partition board here. Um, and yeah, we're just going to do a little clicky clacky organization for you guys. Bonus Jonas for those who like this shit. And yes guys, I have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette. It was gifted to me and I actually love it. I also have an RMS Beauty Buriti Bronzer sample stuck on it. Great. <sighs> I really like this. Oh. Are you serious? These are not going to fit very well. It's as good as it's going to get. Let's, let's start with that. I'm sure these are going to be useless, but we'll work it out. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Things are looking better. It's not ideal. Um, I can't really fit this anywhere, which is annoying. Unless I, how much do I have to move that over? Two spots. No, it's never going to fit. Um, so... Actually, oh, okay.
Okay, that's one drawer done. Okay, this is a skincare drawer and I hate it so much. It just like, it's, it's fucked. It's so bad. Sometimes like big things like this, when I close the drawer, they will move when the drawer is getting jiggled and they'll get stuck in, there's like a lip under here on the inside of the drawer and then I can't open it. It's a nightmare. So um, I think I can, I can do better. I know I can do better. do this this is why I hate this drawer everything has to lay down everything because it's too tall it won't it won't close so things just like roll around and oh that's just a shit show this is not gonna work for me at all I think I might just store all of this in the garage besides like what I'm actively using. I like to keep like sort of one or two backup items in case I want to like change up my skincare routine a little bit but I don't think like there's there's too much in here so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. Not get rid of but move it move it out. Uh, let's get that. Um, I don't need Look, I definitely don't need six moisture, uh, six sunscreens in here, but I will keep four. <laughs> that's still, that's still a lot, and I've got one um, on my actual bench. Uh, toner can go out. Let's see, don't need all of these, oh, but I do use all of them, so they have to stay. Okay, let's see what I can work out here. My camera overheated and uh, I can tell you I'm getting a little bit fucking annoyed. <laughs> uh, good timing camera, good timing. Okay, I hate this drawer. I hate it so much. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to leave it at that because there's really not much I can do about it. I do need some skincare to be in this room um, because uh, it's just a pain in the ass going out into the garage whenever I need something new. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I thought you guys might like to see what plant mail looks like. Okay, definitely hope this survived because it is uh, a little bit more of a uncommon plant. Oh my god, come on, come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, gorgeous. So this is a um, variegated alocasia macariza, I think, I think it's pronounced. So, hang on, let me get this out first. Okay, there we go. Beautiful leaf shape, love that. Nice variegation on that leaf and a new one 
coming through. Roots are always wrapped in, oh, well not always, but very commonly wrapped in sphagnum moss. I'm gonna go put this guy in water because that's what it's gonna need. Okay, so this is usually what the roots look like. Sphagnum is still damp, which is really good. Um, I probably shouldn't do this with one hand. I'm, I'm gonna get the roots out of there. Make sure everything's happy. That's the root system. They're nice and white. I don't see any signs of anything sinister going on. It has been in soil, but I'm, I'm gonna put it in water because it's gonna want a little bit of hydration. Hello guys. So I didn't, I didn't get jack shit done today. Um, after I spoke to you last, I went to Kmart, I picked up my order. Cool. I've never seen Chadston so dead in my life. Um, obviously you can't go into Chadston. Maybe you can, I don't know. I didn't, I just like, park the car, ring the number, they bring your order out. Um, but yeah, it was kind of, I don't know, kind of creepy. The rest of the day just kind of went by in a blur. I did some work. I still have to edit another video for tomorrow. Um, and I went to the dentist and I, I got, it feels like I got nothing done. Uh, but I got, ugh. I got a humidifier for my plants because I know they like the humidity and I know that when the weather is nice, they will, they kind of create their own humidity because I have them all like, let me show you. I have them all grouped together, but that's going to change a little bit at least. So like I, I think I mentioned I got lights, so I've got to set them up I don't know if I will really have time to do that tonight I probably should because I'm picking up another plant tomorrow it's a very special one I'm very excited about it but it's an itty bitty baby so it's gonna look like nothing to you guys uh, but it's fun for me because I get to watch it grow into the absolutely magnificent being that it can be um, so it would be good to have my lights set up for that because I know it's going to it's come from a um, a greenhouse so it's going to want a nice humid warm environment I'm actually gonna put it in a cloche because that's like an easy way of creating like a mini greenhouse environment um, but I thought I would set up this I got it off Amazon, um, set this up, edit my video, I need to eat some food because I haven't eaten it all day, I do this a lot, I haven't eaten it all day and I'm starting to feel like, <laughs> you know when your body starts to like give up on you, I feel like that that's what's happening to me at the moment. I made the mistake of um, sort of spacing out my coffee so having a coffee in the morning and then being a little bit busy and having to do stuff and then when I had a moment to like sit down and chill I made myself another coffee and that kind of it makes me feel full but I'm not full like I just skip meals and uh then when it comes time for dinner I get so fucking hungry my body is like if you don't eat I'm just gonna fall over and die so I think I'll set this up. I will go and organize myself some dinner. I will edit my video so I don't have to worry about that. And then maybe we'll set up the lights. Why not? May as well. That's right. I wanted to talk to you guys about humidity. So my plants will make their own humidity when they're bunched together like that. And it's quite a lot. And how I noticed this was we had a few um, hot days in a row and this is going back a couple of weeks ago when I had less plants and I would wake up in the morning and I could literally feel the humidity in my bedroom and it was actually quite nice because I noticed that like my blood noses stopped 
that was awesome um and my skin felt a bit more comfortable and mum was like oh my god is that safe like living in a humid environment I'm like well it's not like i'm not living in 90 percent humidity it's you know it's probably probably just standard like 60 percent for the plants because that's what they like and they're they're fucking happy and i was happy but because the weather has dropped or the temperature has dropped a little bit um i've lost my humidity so that's where this guy comes in to play um i'm scared to turn this upside down because i feel like it's gonna fucking leak you're gonna leak oh my god oh shit and which way does it go i think it goes i think it goes this way oh my god please don't leak Oh, there's a little brush. Oh my god. God, what's gonna happen? Okay, no, we're good. Oh, yes. Alright, you can't see this, but it's doing its thing. It's taking in the water into the filter. When I turned this on, I think it was at like 52% uh, percent relative humidity it's now at 63 i've had it on for like three fucking minutes um so that makes me think that my room when i woke up with these guys and it was making my room feel humid uh it must have been significantly higher than the 60 percent that i assumed it was so indoor plants like 60 to 70 percent they like but like 80 for some of them is like schmick i know the monstera is just gonna absolutely love it fiddle leaf they like some humidity as well um and i'm pretty sure the um the ficus i'm pretty sure the ficus like it as well but i will double check on that um and pretty much every single thing up here all of them every single little baby will put up with high humidity or they will thrive in it so when i started getting plants i didn't really like i wasn't worried about humidity i know that we can grow a lot of um plants indoors here we have a lot of plants we've had a lot of plants in the past like it's it's fine i knew most of them would be just fine um, but then two things happened so i discovered that I have a bit of a thing for tropicals um and they do like higher humidity if you can give it to them and also when i noticed that like the plants were creating their hu own humidity and uh that was helping me <laughs> with my shit uh i was like well why wouldn't i get a humidifier i mean i benefit from it the plants benefit from it why not it would be stupid not to so there we go humidifier also i need to um i need to just show you my little win with my fiddle leaf so i'm pretty sure i showed you guys that i repotted this i think in my last vlog I think if I didn't then now you know that I I did because I was meaning to um, after I repotted it I noticed that uh, the soil still was staying really wet and I was like that's not right the top should at least be starting to dry out so I thought okay it's it's the pots too big so I went down, I think, maybe two sizes with the pot. And uh, since then, literally, it's been not even a week. It's been a matter of days. It started pushing out new growth. So I'm, I'm hopeful for this guy. Um, I, think, I think we might be friends. I think I found the magic formula for what this guy wanted and uh i'm hopeful i'm hopeful also i don't know if i told you but i snapped off one of his leaves and i'm trying to propagate it it was an accident i didn't mean to more plant talk 
while my video compresses. So this is an Epipremnum Panatum, also known as a dragon's tail. And I bought this right before we went into lockdown. Uh, Mum and I went to the Lost Dogs home to look at a cat, see if it was Odin. It wasn't. Um, and there was a pop-up plant shop. So we went in and we grabbed, we grabbed some plants. Mum got her umbrella tree, which she loves, and I got this and we got a few others. Anyway, uh, this sort of did nothing for a while and I thought, well, that's fine because, you know, it wanted to acclimate to its new home and it's beautiful. This leaf has some damage. It came damaged, but uh, the leaves are like, they'll get quite big and they also get uh, fenestrations when it ma matures. So a little while ago, I noticed it was growing its new newest leaf so it like grows a chunk of stem and then it pops out a leaf very exciting um and i did have it up on my bookshelf up there but i pulled it down because i thought you know what i want to i want to give this some more love i want to see what's going on with it so i get up nice and close and i have a look at it and i'm like oh yeah you're beautiful and what i notice is it's actually got three growth points so I think what it was doing when it wasn't growing was it was growing some other shit. So right here, it's like completely growing a whole new plant. It's got this like little, let me see if I can show you. So it's got like a little bulbous bit and it's just popping out a new plant. This is a whole new leaf uh, and it's, it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. Then over here, it's probably better for me to show you from here. It's growing a new plant here as well, which is interesting. So uh, juvenile leaf and a new uh, leaf bud or stem coming through there. So the reason I purchased this was because, uh, okay, one, I love... I love aroids. This is an aroid. Uh, they have beautiful, like, huge, green, glossy, just, like, beautiful plants, beautiful leaves. And the guy told me that it will trail, or I can train it to go up. And I picked this particular one out because of the way it was growing. I was like, now nah, I want this guy to trail. That's what I want. Um, and I can tell you right now, I'm really glad that I bought this one because I can see that I can do trailing and climbing with this. So this will, this will continue to grow out. You might need a little bit of help getting over that plant pot in the future, but I'll keep a close eye on him. And this one I'm going to get while it's an itty bitty baby. Uh, I can't do it right now because it's too small, but before it gets too big, I'm going to get it a pole. I'm going to get it a pole and I'm going to train it to grow up the pole and then I'm going to have these guys trailing. So it will do both. I'm very pleased with this plant. It was it was one of those plants that I picked up because I was like, you've got beautiful green leaves and I like the look of you. But then all of a sudden it became something so much more exciting to play with. And then we have the little uh, ficus elastica that I got from... Bunnings. Um, so this dropped a whole bunch of leaves because I moved it around and they don't like being moved. Don't move them. Don't move them unless you want them to just fucking sacrifice all their leaves to the leaf gods. Um, so I was a little bit worried about it, but I knew like it's got, you know, it's got new growth. It's fine. I know it'll be fun. But then the other day I noticed that it's like this stem, which was pretty much not doing anything for a really long time. It's popping out a whole bunch of new fucking leaves and I don't I don't think I want it to do that I think I want this one to be a bit like my big green one that's just a single stem so I don't know what I'm gonna do do I separate it maybe I will separate it it should I really should change this soil because it's just in this like peat and I don't I don't think they like that I think they like really well draining soil. That's what my others are in and they're doing really well. So, you know, anyway, there's that. And my little parlor palm, which I love. 
I do love this thing. I feel bad for it because I see these curly leaves and I'm like, did I hurt you? If I hurt you, I'm so sorry. But it's got new growth. So, oh shit, that's really opened up. That was an itty bitty thing the other day. Okay, look, I, I think it's happy. I think they're all happy. They make me happy. I like my little jungle. I'm gonna try to rein in the plant purchasing for a little while because I want to, where I've put my mirror, I want to get um, a cabinet to put there and turn it into a little uh, indoor greenhouse. So I need to kind of, I mean, I don't need to, but I want to save money, like set aside money specifically for that rather than just, you know, spending the money out right I've become a bit of a like budgeter saver this year and recently I've been stimulating the economy a lot um but anyway cabinet is the next thing that I want to do and I do want to like save up for that and put some money away by the time Ikea stores open which will be later in October um I would easily have like saved up that money so I can just go and spend spend and be happy with it and put it together I don't know what I'm gonna do with that mirror though I'll also have to probably get rid of that Ikea bedside table that I've got it will fit there with the cabinet but it's gonna look cramped and I'm also kind of over that chest of drawers but the problem is where do I put the shit that's in it because it's currently very useful storage so I don't know these are all answers that or questions I don't have answers to I will work it out I cross that bridge when I come to it oh so yeah that's that's pretty much the gist of everything might be a problem <laughs> the pink lights make me see green Jesus Christ I definitely don't think they'll be a permanent feature pink lights or they're basically like purple they've got red and blue spectrums um, they're really good for like uh, propagating or not propagating but like um, seedlings and stuff like that getting them to grow from seed um, and they're good for anything that flowers or fruits. Um, some of the plants I've got can flower. They just don't typically do it because they need specific um, like conditions to do it. But um, these got really good reviews for just like general light assisting and growth. I definitely don't think these will be a permanent feature. Um, I would much prefer just the like white full spec full spectrum lights which i've ordered um i didn't realize that these were this pink color until uh after i'd ordered them way after i'd ordered them they were already on their way um but they're bright they're super bright i don't know like kind of puts like a pink hue around my room and I can see what it's doing to the camera so uh, look I think I might just chuck them up and see how they go um, I'm wondering if I should use this sticky foam stuff or if I should kind of tempted to use command strips in case I want to easily remove them I think I might do that these are great because they're fairly easy to remove, uh, but they hold a lot of weight. These weigh nothing. They're super light, so I think I think they'll be fine with just one. See how we go. Battery's gonna die. If I wanted to be pedantic about this, I would take this shelf off, lay it down, and put them up. But I don't want to.
here is where we're at. The Zabrina just fits. Just. If it grows, then I'm shit out of luck in there. But hopefully by then I will have a cabinet that will allow it to have some extra space. But they're all in there. And uh, I guess over like the next... I don't know two weeks I'll see how they go I'll keep a close eye on them I do have some that are you know coming out with some new growth also I feel like this camera doesn't want to focus with this light I don't blame it I don't want to focus either um, anyway I do have some new growth that I can keep an eye on to see like how how the lights are going they don't seem to produce any heat that I can feel which is good um there we go there we go little makeshift uh extra light thingamabobber for now I've been mulling over this for a little while and uh it's gotten to the point where it's time it's time to do it so today I am going to basically mirror my room I'm going to take my bed and my bedside table and I'm going to put it on this side and I'm going to take my bookshelf and my desk and I'm going to put it on this side and the reason I want to do that is because I think when I get the I think I mentioned it in this vlog maybe um, when I get the IKEA greenhouse cabinet I was going to put it there but it's going to be a super tight fit and I think it's going to look shit so I think it would be better if I have it on that wall there. Um, so that's a plan. That's a plan. But I need to move my room around before I do that because it would obviously like, like I can't build a cabinet and then fucking move the room around. That's not smart. So I'm going to do the room moving today and hope and pray that it it all works out. I have had my bed in that position before, so I know it fits. Um, I just don't know how the bookshelf and the desk is gonna look over here, because that's never been a situation that I've lived in before. So, that's the plan. Uh, I have taken the plants out. They're all outside having a sunbake on a very gloomy day. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Let's do it. Okay, so this is a really shit job. Everything's fucking heavy. This bed is so fucking heavy. It's not so bad when the drawers are out of it. But getting the drawers out was not easy because it was up against the wall. So you can see the bed has those little rectangles, right? On that end. It doesn't have them on this end. And that's meant to be the base or the, the end of the bed. But I can't turn it around, obviously, because I've got no fucking room. Um, so I kind of I kind of don't want to put the mattress on it yet in case when the rest of the furniture is situated I can turn it around. If I have to put the mattress on it, I have to take it off and that mattress oh god, it weighs as much as this fucking bed does. It's a nightmare. So I don't know what to do with the mattress. 
I might try and put it out in the hallway. Oh God. I just realized my fucking printer is not gonna fit there. And I don't wanna have this mirror like square on where it will fit because it looks like fucking shit. Oh, this desk is too big. I don't want the desk here because I'll have no fucking room to move. Um, I can't move the bed over because there, oh my God, I should really pause Game of Thrones, shouldn't I? Oh, see, I can't move the bed over because there's a power point there and it even needs to move over a bit more. Otherwise the bed has to come out of the wall further. I need those plugs because I've only got two wall sockets in this room and there's none on this side. So I have to run cables, which is irritating. Okay, she's in. Now I stuck in my power board and look at this. It's a nice flat one. So she pretty much sits flush against the wall almost. There's itty bitty bit of space, but that's fine. Um, okay, good. Fucking hell, I did it. I can finally use all of those drawers instead of just one. Um, I've got some casters to put on this. My bedside table this is heavy as shit when it's full it's impossible to move on my own so um, in the garage I've got all of my makeup drawers on casters so it's easier to move them around I don't think it'll be much easier um, on carpet but at least I might be able to actually move it without completely emptying it which means I might be able to use all four of the drawers rather than three in this position so oh, we'll see how we go I'm just gonna situate some shit so I can have more room and oh, tidy up this fucking room Okay, here's where we're at. I settled on this. I did move that desk over there and I fucked around with it and I hated it. I, I hate that desk. Honestly, I want to get rid of it so badly, but I need it because I need the computer for editing. But if I didn't, I wouldn't have it. So there's that, but you know, what ifs. Um, I only ended up putting two of the three shelves on here um, because I wanted the plants to have a bit more space because I've got like this guy the Zabrina that's still struggling a little bit it still hasn't rooted I oh god I don't I don't know if that's gonna survive um, and also this guy which is new and that um, will do well with a stake so I put a stake in there for it uh, but yeah that's a little bit more room there and um, you know less stuff here so it's less crowded that's pretty much pretty much it I've still got a bunch of shit to deal with but that can be another day's problem because I've had enough I'm tired this was a lot of work. I don't ever want to have to move this furniture again. Um, but when I get the cabinet, the cabinet will probably go there. Unless, I don't know, I could move the desk. I, I don't even know. It doesn't matter. I'll work it out when, when I come to it. But that is all. That is all. It's plant mail time. So I'm just setting this up for some anthurium seeds that I purchased. This is um, perlite and I just uh, gave it a wash 
made sure I got the excess dust off it and I chuck a layer of that in the bottom of this container which I will basically use as a mini greenhouse to um, help the little seeds grow and this is sphagnum moss which the seeds will essentially root into I sterilize this with boiling water I don't actually think I'm gonna have enough damn it can I get an even layer uh, no I think that'll be fine that'll be all right There we go, 10 little seeds. This is an Alocasia Wintii and in here I should have three types of, I think it's pronounced Trandescantia. These are gorgeous, they have absolutely stunning foliage. Check this out. Mm. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness, wow, look at that. So one is called A Dark Desire. Uh, one is, I think it's pronounced uh, Nanook. And then there's a Purple Rain. This is most likely Dark Desire. Holy fuck, look at how gorgeous that is. And then, this is definitely Monstera Siltipicana. And maybe something else. Okay, so there are freebies in here as well. This is all from Nursery to You. I think I've spoken about them before. Um, and when you spend a certain amount of money, you get some freebies. So this one is Siltipicana. It's a form of Monstera. And they had a whole bunch of Peperomias that were, they were like giving away as freebies. This one is a lemon lime, which I actually already have. Uh, oh, this is a Mykins. This is a Philodendron Mykins. Oh, the leaves are fucking stunning. And these will also be Peperomias. I'm not really a fan of Peperomias. I feel like everywhere I go, and by everywhere I go, I mean every supermarket that I go to, they have so many fucking peperomias. And I'm not really a super duper fan. Um, this one's kind of cute. If it will like trail, then I'll hold on to it. Otherwise, I will give it to a friend. And then there is this one, which does have like cool shaped leaves. Wow, they feel like. Oh, I don't even know how to describe that. They're so firm. I reckon you could knock someone out with them. <laughs> anyway, there we go. There's them. I need to pot them up. And the last item that I need to do something with today are these guys. Anything in there? No. Um, these are alocasia bulbs. So this one here that I showed you before, the Wentii, this is an alocasia. Um, so essentially they grow from bulbs, not seeds, and they create their own bulbs uh, as they mature as well. So you can harvest them and then grow them which is awesome and I thought I would give it a go I want to give it a go um, in soil and in semi hydro so that's what I'm gonna do
plenty goodness for the day. Where the fuck am I gonna put all of these? Look at this cat. Mum was out feeding the birds and also if the cat goes out there she gives the cat a little bit of mince. So the cat's been eating that mince there. But she's done. However, we have a magpie right there and there was another one that just flew up on the roof and they're hovering around her waiting for her to leave to get that food. The magpies are going crazy. They're just like, we want that. But the cat is so funny. She's so conditioned to being around birds in her home life that she's like, she's just chill as fuck with these birds around. And the birds are like the magpies. They're not, not scared of the cat. So, <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I kind of love it. Hello guys, it is Saturday and I am editing this vlog for you guys. So, um, uh, the video is basically fully edited and currently at 50 minutes and I think that's enough. I've got, there is more footage but I think I'll just chuck it in the next vlog um, because I, I want to get off the computer. I'm kind of struggling a little bit with insomnia not even a little bit i'm struggling really badly with insomnia i don't like i don't take any medication for it i don't i'm not being treated for it but it's getting to the point where i'm kind of thinking maybe i should go to my doctor about it because it's been going on all year and it's kind of killing me <laughs> not actually killing me but it's just it's hard like i feel so drained and i don't know about other people I know mum experiences this if I don't get like usually seven to eight hours is like my prime um, if I don't get that I actually feel physically sick like nauseous throughout the day so I feel tired I feel drained if I lay down to go to sleep I can't I just don't oh god it's so annoying um, but I also feel physically like I might throw up and I, it's not really a nice way to live. So I'm kind of, I'm definitely struggling with my insomnia. Um, but I'm also, like I've just edited two and a half hours of footage down to 50 minutes. And there's still like an hour and 40 minutes of extra foot. I, I'm done. I do, this is enough for today. Um, I know you guys love the long videos. I love them too. Um, and that's why I make them, but I think 50 minutes is enough is that that's enough right um but it's actually not going to be 50 minutes it's going to be longer because as i've been editing this video i've realized that i left out some really fucking important things that i wanted to update you on okay plant cave this is where i want to update you um because i realized that there were some things that i didn't even talk about in this video and I want to talk about them. One thing in particular, I'm so annoyed. It's in this cloche. I didn't show you when I got it and I'm so annoyed because there's been new growth and um, I'm super fucking excited about it. And the best thing about having like baby plants or even cuttings, like cuttings are kind of fun as well, um, is watching them grow. And it, like it's so satisfying it I can't even describe how happy I am <laughs> with my plants so I did show you guys okay wait let me get this out of the way this is a variegated chain of hearts I bought this it arrived this week uh, I bought it on the weekend and it came I think on Wednesday um, I'm look I'm, I'm not gonna mention where I purchased this um, because I'm not going to say super great things about it. This was $45. It is a variegated chain of hearts. It is fairly healthy. Um, it was also $20 postage. Uh, and look, I don't have a problem paying postage for plants. I understand that they need to be sent via express shipping. This was sent through like... Not a courier service, but you know those like non-Australia post sort of smaller postal services like uh, I think is it Send It or Sendle or something like that. I don't know. Maybe there's two companies named that. I don't know. It was something like that. I can't remember exactly. But this was purchased, I believe, on a Saturday or maybe even the Friday. Um, 
and it actually like it shipped on the Monday but didn't arrive until the Wednesday and uh, for example this which is a little cutting um, this was shipped by a private seller on a Monday and it arrived on a Tuesday and it came from fucking Queensland this I believe came from Melbourne so yeah not really super impressed with the shipping cost also when it came in I noticed that so many of the, of the ends of the plant uh, have had damage they're damaged um, but otherwise the foliage is healthy so I probably wouldn't purchase through that seller again unless they had a little unicorn that I was desperate for anyway there's that so little rant um, okay this so I did show you guys this briefly this is a philodendron gigas um, I actually bought this on auction um, on Instagram and it's from the Brunswick nursery it is a fairly rare uh, philodendron um, it's beautiful it's a velvet leaf philodendron I've only had it uh, it was delivered on um, Saturday last Saturday uh, I was at a park with my friends celebrating a friend's birthday and uh, mum took it mum took it in so this is gorgeous I love it um, I haven't noticed any changes so I'm saying I'd say it's acclimating quite nicely uh, and I just now need to wait wait for new growth um, this guy here is a pothos or epi epipremnum um, mandula it's uh, kind of like a snow queen except the variegation is different so a snow queen has white on the edges uh, with green on the inside and a mandula has white on the inside with green on the edges um, again a little bit more of an uncommon plant this right here is a melanochrysum uh, philodendron melanochrysum this again is a rooted cutting I'm growing these in Lekka uh, I know this one was originally grown in Lekka from the lady that I purchased it from um, so yeah, this is very new. I received it earlier this week uh, and I'm just letting it do its thing. It's, you know, it's, it's not going to be super happy for a while. It's just going to be like, bitch, I'm growing roots. Leave me alone. Tell me I'm beautiful. Uh, it's quite similar to the Gigas, um, except it's more heart shaped, whereas the uh, Gigas is a bit more rounded at the top. Um, then, oh, this, okay, so I did show you guys, hang on, it's going to be difficult to get out. So I did show you guys this guy. This is the variegated alocasia macariza. Uh, this had two leaves, as you guys would have seen, uh, but the main leaf just carked it. It gave up on life, so I cut it off so it would stop putting its energy into trying to save that leaf and uh, basically grow a root system so I expect this to struggle for a little while I find alocasias they just don't travel well in the post so I'm not really surprised that that is struggling I'm going to be very patient with it uh, back here oh this guy this is my monstera albo borgiana um so i think last time you saw it this leaf would have been all curled up and it has popped out it is hardening off slowly and its little stem is growing in preparation for its next leaf this stem needs to basically grow as tall as it wants to um and then it will start creating a leaf that's going to come out from that stem okay and this guy this guy is very 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 exciting this is an anthurium wokrianum i believe it's pronounced uh they're also known as a queen anthurium this is a seedling and it will probably take two years for it to start looking like a mature plant um I would expect within six months this should be probably about hang on let's probably about this big 
maybe a bit more depends on its growing conditions now the reason why i am extremely disappointed that i did not show you this when i got it is because it has grown quite a bit um these leaves are getting bigger and taller but also last night this literally happened yesterday i could not believe it i even got mum in here so i could show it off it sprouted a new leaf so hopefully you can see that leaf there that was not there yesterday morning so essentially what i do is i check on all of my plants in the morning and in the evening um i check to make sure they've got enough water that they're not like nothing really bad is happening because shit can go wrong pretty quickly and uh when i checked in last night it had a new leaf and I nearly pissed my pants with excitement. So that's great. If it's putting out leaves, it's happy. It's happy and it's good and it's doing its thing. Something else that I can update you on, uh, you guys saw just a couple of days ago or a few minutes ago in this vlog, I, um, I planted these seeds. They're sprouting already. Uh, they actually, I noticed this one at the back um had started to sprout within 24 hours that little green one and most of the others are starting to do their thing so you might be able to see the little like sort of greenish nubbin right at the tip that means they're growing they're growing these sort of seeds aren't exactly cheap so there was like a level of anxiety <laughs> with uh like purchasing these and trying to get them to grow but i have uh i think i've got wait let me double check eight of the ten seeds i can see have like they've got signs of growth which is really exciting now just because they're sprouting uh it's not a guarantee that they're gonna survive because even at this size and <laughs> bigger to be fair um if something goes wrong they can shit themselves and die uh, so I'm going to try to avoid that this guy is giving me fucking life at the moment now I think oh god I can't remember I think I actually have some more footage about of me talking about this just like yesterday or the day before if I've got it I'll insert it now I'm not gonna lie guys this is like my absolute favorite plant at the moment um it's a uh dragon's tail I don't know the uh, there's some debate about what this plant is called and I haven't been able to work it out 100% but it's commonly called a dragon's tail and when they mature they uh, the leaves fenestrate like a monstera they sort of open up um, and this is going to be my first fenestrated leaf and I know it is because I can see I can see where it's splitting I'm so excited I'm so excited for this baby it's beautiful it needs a pole so badly it's like if you have one of these and it ever starts doing weird shit like this it means it needs a pole and it wants to climb. So I was hoping for fenestrations. I was pretty confident that this one was gonna fenestrate and I got my fenestrations and I'm so fucking proud of this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous plant. I, oh, look, I'm not even gonna lie. This is probably my favorite plant at this very moment. <laughs> It's magic. It's just magic. Also, um, I had a comment in my last video uh, where I was, I chopped up my um, neon pothos. It's a neon pothos, by the way. I like, I did my research and I found out. Um, so essentially what I did was I took the bear, um, the bear chains and I cut them up um into noted pieces and i pop them in a bag with damp sphagnum moss and i've kept them in here because um the lighting conditions are better uh and they are they're starting to go so you can see there's a little little green nub in there they're all going to push out uh leaves and roots and pretty much all of them have sprouted so that's what that was uh i had a comment where Someone was like, I have no idea what you're doing, but 
that was kind of fun to watch uh, that's what I was doing so I propagate them when they grow roots I can pop them up in the pot of my neon pothos and I'll make her more full um, also mum wants one very badly so um, that's what this is grow babies grow okay guys so I think I think that's enough <laughs> I think that's enough I've been talking about plants now for a fucking half an hour um, so I hope you enjoy this feature length film um, I'll be back I'll be back soon with another vlog um, I am taking a tiny bit of a break in October did I talk about this before oh my god guys I'm so tired <laughs> I'm taking a tiny break in October, just in case I didn't mention it, um, I'm uploading two videos a week instead of three. And back to my usual um, three videos a week in November. Um, and I'm thinking I want to try and do something a bit more in November, uh, December, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell me what your favourite plants are. Because God knows I'm going to buy some more. I'm really hoping uh, I'll be able to go to Ikea on Monday and buy my plant cabinet. Sorry. We'll see. We'll see what happens with restrictions in Melbourne. Alright guys, um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.